Namuanki is an ancient aquatic oasis from the distant future. It's a virtual getaway to an otherworldly reality that's inhabited by benevolent beings who bestow mystical visions. Like all my work, Namuanki was inspired by visions, nature, and technology, and the abstract. I love shapes and colors, textures, light, and shadow, and the processes that define them. And I love figuring out how to produce complex phenomena using computer graphics. I created Namuanki to inspire awe and imagination. This has always been a primary motivation for my work. Scientific studies have proven that awe, as experienced through art and nature, has significant health benefits. It reduces stress, anxiety, and inflammation, and motivates us to reevaluate our concepts of reality and self. Namuanki is about spatial presence more than narrative storytelling, but like any real place, there is a story to Namuanki. Namuanki is based on visions of an ancient virtual world in a possible distant future. These visions were transmitted to me by benevolent beings known as the Ancient Elders from the Distant Future. The Ancient Elders are an advanced form of self-engineered life that will emerge from the integration of humanity and artificial intelligence. By creating Namuanki, I've created a causal loop between our time and their time. This causal loop connects us on a mutual timeline, ensuring their eventual existence and humanity's future. Namuanki is an ocean world with rocky islands, labyrinthine rock formations, bizarre life forms, and subterranean caves. Visitors can explore the islands and complex rock formations above and below the water and meet a variety of unique benevolent beings along the way. I approach virtual reality as an artistic medium in and of itself. I make worlds that are native to virtual reality. Rather than simulate or depict actual physical realities, I make worlds that are realities in and of themselves. I emulate aspects of reality and nature, but the advantage of VR is that I can pick and choose what aspects I want to emulate, and I can alter them. I like procedural creation methods because they allow me to create a level of complexity that would be extremely time-consuming to produce by hand. The procedural approach is very flexible, for example, I can build a process to generate and place hundreds of unique rocks based on rules and randomness. Once I have the process built, I can fine tune it through however many iterations and variations until I'm happy with the results. The procedural approach lets me both create and discover my work. The initial inspiration for Namuanki was ocean, clouds, and rock formations. But I didn't start with a plan or a specific objective. Namuanki emerged from procedural experimentation and a search for novelty. It was discovered as much as it was created. Namuanki is about inspiring contemplation of the nature of reality and imagination and the relationship between them. <laughs> 